I'm Xavier de Monera du Jeu. I'm a senior staff scientist in the R&D transfections uh, department. We working on developing new product, transfection products, uh, some including Lipofectamine 2000 and Lipofectamine RNA Max. The, the new invention that we recently launched is, is related to the transfections. Uh, more specifically, we're trying to uh, give a tools uh, for researchers to allow them to deliver nucleic acid in uh, small animal models. Uh, what we found in the past, uh, a lot of people use our transfection reagents like the perfect, I mean, 2000 and RNA Max, mostly in vitro, in cell lines, but we see the field moving toward more physiologically relevant models. People want to now deliver primary cells such as neurons, B cells, T cells, and ultimately they really want to study the gene functions in vivo, so it's small animal models such as mouse and rats, and uh, of course uh, then may lead to therapeutics. So in the past there was really no tools out there to allow them to deliver sRNA or nucleic acid directly in vivo, mostly because as soon as you put in animal models, the blood nucleases will get degraded in nucleic acid and nothing would happen. So we developed this product that is a liposome based that basically kind of protect your nucleic acid from the, the digression from the serum and the blood and then allow you to deliver sRNA, for example, in specific organs. And so the first one that we developed is called in vivo fectamine 2 is mostly designed to deliver sRNA very efficiently in the liver. And what we found is you can deliver uh, almost 90% of the hepatocytes and silence the gene more than 90% for, for many weeks. So in terms of applications, basically, because you can now do this, you can imagine you could do uh, knockout animals very quickly. Like with sRNA, you could simply go in front of your computer and you say, you know, I want to knock out these genes. I'm going to design an sRNA. In a week, you have your sRNA. It's going to be very potent. You simply complex with our reagents, which is very easy to use, and then you can knock out a gene the next day So it, and study the function. So it's a really powerful tool, and you could do all this in very limited time, versus if you do the traditional way, such as the transgenic knockout models, then it will take months. You have to do the cloning, and then prepare the progeny, and then breed the mice and, and for the same result. So what we see now is a growing interest to do this directly in vivo instead of cell lines and rapidly assess the function of the genes. And so you can, you know, you can, re you could also do multiple genes at the same time, which would be very difficult to do with knockout animals. So actually there's nothing out there uh, yet. We think, you know, some more product like this will come out, but at this point there's really nothing out there. It's, it's really the first product of its generations that allow you to do this with a very efficient uh, manner. There are things out there developed by the big pharma that they use this, this similar technology for developing therapeutics for human disease. But in the research market, there's really no tool like this, which is really easy to use and very uh, efficient.